and welcome back to Spiffy Needle Geeks playing the Kirby 64 in the Crystal Shards. Now we are at the Aqua Star, the beach and water level. Of course. I fucking hate the enemy because of that. Very losing a run. You suck it up, then whatever projectile hits you anyway. <laughs> Of course, it's just like typical beach levels, there's uh, lots of water here. But now Kirby's a volcano! Oh god. <laughs> I always did prefer the um, the idea of Kirby actually turning into the power that he gets, as opposed to just getting a hat. It gives off, gives off more shape-shifty shape -shifty factors for Kirby. Right. You know, before, you know, TF2 decided to be like, Hey, hats are awesome! Even though <laughs> Kirby came out first! Alright, now there is a shard in this room, but we're introduced uh, to the, uh... I forget the name of these little guys, but they're they're like your typical cannons. Get in okay. one and they, sh and they shoot you in a direction. There are, there are a few that will, you know... Spin their head around, and then you, you press a button, and it'll shoot you into whatever whatever its face is, is pointing. Okay. So there's just shard right right below there, so just drop down, grab it, and there you go. All right. I don't like the music in this game. Oh yeah, the the, the music is like, and there's a there's a like this act this music this game does actually have one of my favorite pieces of music ever. Up oh, and uh, for those of you who may, who uh, may have watched, up oh, fuck. Good job. For those of you who may, who may recall uh, my Super Smash Adventure series, you may recall that power that I, right there, the Rock and Ice power, where Kirby turns into a um type of I forget the name of that. What's the name of that sport? Oh um yeah Cur I know a curling. It's, it's curling. Yeah. Like I'm but, yeah. sure, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it is a, you know, difficult sport, but my God, is it boring to watch? <laughs> it's kind of like golf, you know. It's like I'm sure golf in its own right is very challenging, but oh God, is it boring to watch? Yeah, but, like, like anyway, like I was saying about the music, this, this game does actually one of my favorite pieces of Kirby music. That's it's actually the final boss music, so we'll get to that when we get to it. Okay. How many worlds are in this game? Is it like seven, eight, six? Oh, that's actually considerably shorter for a Kirby game. Yep, it's rather short. Yep. Yeah, but yeah, those, those, little, those little guys are evil. Like, obviously, they have they have little cute faces when you're on the same level as them, but the moment <laughs> you're above them, yeah. Yeah, now they're like, yeah, now we're gonna kick your ass. All right, now for this section, actually, you want bomb and ice. I I, I forgot to get it for some around, so I had to go back. I had to leave and go back and get it. You're just a walking snowman bomb. <laughs> that bomb is above Kirby's head. <laughs> Pork? This game, this this this, this game make, puts Kirby under so much abuse. Yeah, but Kirby comes out fine every time. Yeah. Kirby, Kirby almost became a shish, a shish kebab there. In which case, there it is. It just explode right there. And the last crystal shard of the level is yours. All right. Watch out for those little those, those cloud guys too, because they they can either you know uh, they they throw little sparks at you, or they can if you're if you're right up, if you're right below them, they can drop little like they, they can drop like little rain pellets on you that can hurt you as well. Okay. That's it for level one of of level three. Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh well. Now we're going to the riverside. Like what do the different colored stars do? Is that does that give you like fill up your meter at different points? Yeah, like um, I I, I don't know off the top of my head what what different colored ones do, but yeah, it's like obviously yellow ones only give you one, whereas different colored ones will give you uh, different numbers. Okay. Now for this level, you actually want to go in with um, I believe it's rock and fire. I failed to do that at first, so I I, I had to go back and get it. Okay. Because one one little uh one thing one thing that does make this game rather easy, you can leave the levels whenever you want to. Like e even if you haven't completed the level, yet, you can just leave the level. 
and hmm. then just come and then just come back when it, you know just come back if you once you got something that you needed and any crystal shard you collected while in that level in the level will stay with you no matter what crystal shards will never leave you like once you collect it it's yours okay yeah that is like freaking easy so I mean, I know a Kirby game is not meant to be difficult and everything, but even then, that's like, that's ridiculously easy. Yeah, so in this in particular case, I, I forgot that I needed Rock and Fire for this for this section in order to get that Crystal Shard after beating this Crab Boss. So I, I, le I left the level, and then came back and came right back in, got the power I needed, and got my Shard. Alright. And there's, there's a sandwich up there if you want. Hmm. And now it's time for our first Waddle ride section. And on some levels, there'll be an occasion where Waddle Dee will, will, will give you a ride on the on the way down. Now, of course, this is automated. All you can do is jump. And okay. there are And there are typically shards, crystal shards on these pathways that you can miss if you don't jump on the right time. And of course, Waddle Dee has the unique power of, 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 knowing ex of knowing when things are about to hit him in the face and will alert you when, when you need to jump. Mm, what happens if you don't jump? Uh, uh, you flip over, but and you take you take a life of damage. Oh, okay. It's not instant kill, and unless it's a battle with pit, obviously. But you know. Surprised this wooden crate is like you know holding up as well as it is. He's still now. Ah! Yep, that spoke too soon. <laughs> and I'm just, and I'm just having fun. I'm just using the current. Volcano power, just <laughs> nothing can kill me. But now we have invincibility candy. Destroy everything, <laughs> wreck. Is that like Nardo Maki or something that he just ate to get that invincibility? It was, it was, it was a lollipop. Oh, okay. Because it was like I saw a spiral design and everything. I was like, what? Is it right up there? Pretty easy to get. <laughs> and that always happens. Like I swear they timed it perfectly so that. That one fish will always hit you, right when the right, right when the right when the invincibility time, like runs out. Hmm. Those pigs keep coming. Yeah, they're pretty charging. To this day, I still don't know what the name of these what these guys are. These little springy ribbon guys. I don't know. Like I think they show up in triple deluxe, but I I forget. I know these guys do, like, because um, those those red lizard guys that breathe fire. Yeah. I know those those show back up in Triple Deluxe, but that's the first time they showed up against in this game. Hmm. Triple Deluxe is the first game in a while that actually brought back a bunch of elements from from uh, Crystal Shards for the first time in a long while. Because this game was a lot of the things in this game were flat out ignored up until Triple Deluxe, which I which is what made me appreciate tri Triple Deluxe more. Because like I said, this is my this is one of my favorite games, so. Yeah, that ended up making me like triple star, tri tri uh, triple deluxe even more. Well, like, triple, <laughs> triple deluxe is just a, was just a really good game in its own right. Oh yeah, I definitely was. And there's Waddle Dee osmosing uh, osmosising his uh, rice ball through his face again. <laughs> but now for another beach. This is one of the few levels that actually require two specific combination power-ups in order to get uh, two shards in the level. Okay. Yep. That Macarena guy's a dick. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah, thank you, asshole. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the, the first power... God damn it. The first power you're going to need is going to be Bomb and Cutter, and the second you're going to need Cutter and Rock, which I showed off Cutter and Rock in the first video. Okay. Who built that set? Who built that slide castle? <laughs> Honestly. I also love those, those, those guys that keep popping out of the ground. Like, I believe they're called Caboose. Oh, the things that look like Diglets? Sort of, yeah. But I, I always imagine I always imagine whenever they go up, whenever they come up, they're just like, oh! <laughs> like... Yeah, 
Yeah, so there's our cutter guy. Right. And the only bomb guy in this level, I believe, is actually a it's actually a bomb fish. And you gotta be careful you gotta be careful when coming because with him, because if you get too close to him, he just blows up, so. Okay. And it's especially harder because you're underwater, so and there he is with that that, that green fish. Okay. So, so I make sure that everything around me is dead first, so I don't let nothing screws me up. Damn it, right into my blade. Thank you. <laughs> This is actually another one of my one of my favorite powers. In this. this is a lot of powers in this game that I really like. This is one of those badass though. This is Shuriken. Or should I say more specifically, Shuriken Bomb? Hmm. You throw a Shuriken and it disappears, but it, it'll instantaneously hit hit whatever whatever is closest to to you, directly in front of you, and it'll just blow up. Nice. But what a way to die! Like. Stabbed, then blown up. <laughs> Just drop down here. Right there is where you need the sh is where you need the shuriken. Okay. Some free health if you want it. And then ride it right back up. So now, actually, what you what you what you will want to do here, you act you actually are gonna want to backtrack for to get that cutter cutter guy again, to combine him with this rock guy. But there is there like there is another cutter guy later. I I went ahead and did that. There is another cutter guy that, that later on in this level. But I actually suggest backtracking to get the other one, because the um the upcoming cutter guy is kind of inconvenient inconvenient to get. Okay. Can you see it's and uh, let's see there he is right there yeah. Like for one thing he shoots so it's very possible to accidentally you know like for him to intercept your your uh, your power and that and that can cause you to lose it. Hmm. Yeah, plus you're on those those logs, which actually drop drop whenever you land on them. So now another recommendation: you're, you're gonna see me get my ass kicked here by this guy because he keeps jumping at me. But you actually want to get on on onto the left side of him, and then use your power because when, once you beat him, a hole drops down right on to to his immediate right. So if you're just standing there, you know, wrecking him, he'll drop right down and, and miss the shard. Hmm. You can fly back up into this room, but the shard will be gone. So. Okay. Yeah, kill him and the ship. So yeah, kill him to your left. Oh, and there's another one. Yep. In which case, you need to open that wall up with rock and cutter. But this, this shit, this shards are pretty infamous, actually. Um, this was the last shard that I ever got because I never knew how to get it until until uh, another let's play I watched. You can only get this shard by how you see what I'm doing now. Uh, Rick, the name of this hamster that we're use that that we're using in this rock form, can climb walls. Hmm. Now, you wouldn't actually know that unless you played Kirby Stream Land 3 or Kirby Stream Land 2 where you see Rick do that. So, it took me, I think, a good solid few years before I finally got that Crystal Shard. Okay. The guy for the life of me could... Like, I think I actually remember specifically when I figured it out. It was when I was playing this game with my cousin up in Connecticut. And we got here and I just couldn't figure it out. So, I ended up just pulling it up on the internet. And I was like, oh, what the hell? Wait. <laughs> So I didn't say what the hell because I was a, I was a little kid then. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm, 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 like, maybe. But uh, yeah, but that was pretty much what you were thinking. Yeah. Now this next level, you don't need any power up in particular, but I do suggest to stay in the rock cutter form that you need. You know, you know, e e exiting that level because this is this is an all underwater level. Ah. Now I actually suggest to stay in rock cutter. Because if you can get, you know, either the owl form or the chickadee form, you know, you can fly through this hubble completely invincible. <laughs> and obviously you want to be either owl or chick- like, more specifically, you want to be chickadee. Chickadee. Because chickadee moves fast. That thing only just bounces. There we go, chickadee. Chickadee gets a total of, uh, ten jumps. So even though you we, we are moving a tad bit slower than we would normally, uh, those rocks will hurt you. So just stay chickadee and they'll be and they won't hurt you at all. <laughs> oh my god! So right now, as far as I as far as I care, I am a penguin. I am an invincible penguin. Even though that's technically not a penguin. I don't care. This is why rock is best. 
Rocks can't die. <laughs> Well, that's, just, that's just a typical trope in general with Kirby. Like, I don't know a single Kirby game where the rock form isn't isn't invincible. This one just happens to be the best because you can actually move while rock. And I also say I, I do love the atmosphere of this game because, like, as you just, as in sort of like that little detail you saw, it was like a, a, a tiny school of fish. When you when you swim past them, they actually like scatter, and then they will, and then we'll get back into position once uh once you get past them. Yeah, like nice little detail. Yeah, does nothing for the game, but it's fun to look at. Which is there is a shard at the very top of this room, so I suggest actually staying to the left because once you get to the top, there is a current that'll push you towards the right. Okay. No, oh, so you gotta kind of be quick about grabbing it before the current comes and gets you. Yep. Now, there isn't another shard in this room as well, but this room is constantly pushing you with another current. Which is actually an another good reason to have a ro at least a any rock power that turns you into a rock form. Because when you're rocks, when you're a rock, you ignore the current. Okay. Normally you can just get that power by, you know, uh, grabbing onto that pole in the middle and just climbing down. But it's just safer to be a rock. Because that way, if you accidentally miss it, you can just turn back into a rock right there and just float back down. Watch out for the Gordos. Like it, like in almost every single game, Gordos are completely invincible. You cannot kill them. You cannot inhale them. They're just there to cause pain. <laughs> we have a Mama Bomb fish. Just wreck her. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, if, with the rock cutter power, uh, the carvings that, that, that uh, you create when carving the rock will hurt enemies, and then the debris from exploding will hurt enemies as well. So. Okay. So would you say, like, this would be, like, your, like, favorite power overall? Like, oh, out yeah, of all I, the different this, combinations? Yeah, it definitely is. Here's another room to want, where you want to be a rock power. Preferably the chickadee. Because... Even because though you, fuck everything else. Well, you see those rocks. Those rocks can't hurt you. And for whatever stupid reason, even though there's a current, the current is pushing the rocks faster than it's pushing you. So the rocks are moving, moving faster than you are. Huh. Like, so just stay the chickadee, and you can just get through this without, without, without having to worry with the rocks. Okay. If there is some health here in there. Unfortunately, the Gordo kind of screwed me there. Try, and I want to turn back into the chickadee, but I see a, there's this crystal shard down there, so stay close to the bottom so you don't miss it. Right. Ah. Turn back to the chickadee. No, my power! I can't Good get job! It I'm being pushed away. But oh well, I don't need it at this point. Because now we're about to fight the boss. And there's actually, and I really don't like being the rock cutter for this particular boss, because this is an underwater boss battle. For this boss, I actually suggest you have the Needle Rock Power. Needle Rock Power is a drill. Okay. This is, I believe this guy's name is Orca. I forget. I don't quote me on that, but I, but um, it's something along that line. Yeah, that, 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 that that's a quick look up on the Kirby Wiki. Yeah, there's two faces of this boss. Uh, you can use those rocks to inhale and, and uh, shoot them back, shoot shoot them back at them if you don't have a power. No, my power! Get, get it! Now, interestingly enough, I actually learned something new in this boss fight. Oh, uh, really? That I never knew about all these years. That I actually found out on accident. Like, if ju push, like just recently with this play? Right, right there. If you push down, you know, if you push down while using while using the power of the drill, mm -hmm. you shoot, you, you shoot a, a drill down. I never knew about that my entire life. Like, you could hold the B button with that drill and it'll, it'll carry you along. Just tapping it will cause Kirby to just shoot it like that. But I never knew all these years that just that pressing down and B on this for, for this power will shoot a drill down. Which, of course, for this boss, considering the next session coming up, is a godsend. This just makes it all the more reason for me to suggest using this power for this boss fight. Because now he's chasing you. 
But I was like, when did you figure this out? Like, was that just for this playthrough? Yeah, or like, you... right there. Like, dur during that section. Like, you, you, saw, you saw me spamming it there. That was me going, oh, shit, I didn't know I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you learn something new every day. Yeah, like, I love games like that where, you, where even after years and years of playing it over and over again, you're still finding new shit. I love that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we defeated Orca. So now it's time for a quiet day on the beach. <laughs> Chance to relax. And throw then Kirby rocks. eats everybody. <laughs> throw some rocks in the water. Having fun. Now Kirby has to show everyone up. But uh... And then Kirby died. T At the end. So you cannot kill Kirby? <laughs> He'll just come back and eat you. Sad thing is, they almost ditched him there, too. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I'm sorry I tried eating you guys! In which case, join us next time as we explore the Neo Star. See you then.